commandments of love, faith. Again and again the divine commandments of love are held up to you, again and again the divine teaching of love is proclaimed to you, and again and again you are admonished to lead a life of love, for that is the purpose and goal of your existence on earth. But how does it look in the world? Where can unselfish neighborly love still be recognized among people? Everyone only thinks of himself, selfish love is predominant and people do not remember God's commandments. Love has grown cold amongst people. And this is a sure sign of the approaching end, because unkindness is the evidence that another person rules, that people have fallen prey to him and that everything has left the divine order, whose fundamental principle is love. And where there is no more love God, who is eternal love himself, will also be eliminated. Where there is no love there will also be no faith in God and therefore also not in the divine Redeemer Jesus Christ in whom God embodied himself in order to redeem people. And where this faith is lacking there is only ruin and destruction. For the prince of darkness reigns there, to whom people who live without faith in Jesus Christ have fallen prey. And he drags humanity down into his kingdom, he prevents every spiritual upward development for the purpose of which the human being lives on earth. But God's love does not stop wooing people's love. Time and again God addresses people, time and again he faithfully approaches them and wants to win their love. Time and again people are made aware of their fellow human beings adversity, which should and can cause them to ignite their love, to intervene helpfully and to urge the love in them to continue their work. But God no longer finds much a reciprocation of his love, and time comes to an end because people themselves create the conditions through their lack of love. And yet, time and again they will be taught love, time and again messengers of God will proclaim his gospel, they will preach God's love which never ends and which the human being should strive to acquire, which will fill him with happiness and save him from darkness. Time and again the word of God will be brought to people, for God courts every person's soul until the end, he will not give up anyone before the end has come, he touches all human hearts and seeks to kindle the flame of love in them. For it is still a time of grace and he will still pour out his blessings on humanity in abundance, and everyone can make use of them. Everyone can receive unmeasured graces and use them for the salvation of his soul. But he must fulfill the divine commandments of love, for he can only become blissfully happy through love alone. And time and again opportunities will be created for him where he can be active in love. And every person is capable of doing so, because the spark of love is placed in every person's heart which can therefore flare up if the person wants it, if he listens to what God's messengers tell him, if he remembers his soul and wants to help it to reach the right goal. Yet the human being's will is free and very weakened by the influence of God's adversary, but one can strengthen it, and therefore faith in him is indispensable, and this faith only comes alive through love. And therein lies people's great spiritual hardship, that they lack faith and love. And therefore love has to be emphasized time and again as the most urgent matter, and anyone who listens to God's messengers and is of good will will also obey God's commandments, and he will attain faith in God who redeems humanity from sin and death in Jesus Christ. And this one will be saved from destruction. Amen.